we are coming to you from the beautiful Ka'anapali coast on Maui. And we have had plenty to see and taste. Even though each Hawaiian island has its own personality, Maui seems to take on the personality of many of the others. Yeah, for instance, Maui has some great nightlife, but it's not as high energy as Waikiki. Maui has great places to relax and wind down, and it's not as quiet or laid back as, say, Kauai. Maui is one of the islands you should always go to because there is so much. In fact, we will have three different shows dedicated just to Maui. We are in the Lahaina area on the Ka'anapali coast, which is not too far from the airport. We wandered over to the Maui Sheraton Resort and Spa with its great view of the ocean, but we also discovered a hidden treasure. So it's called the Old Style Mai Tai, and it's uh, not as sweet. It doesn't have the generic uh, fruit juices. It's made with fresh lemon juice, sweet, a little bit of sweet and sour, um, and then light rum, gold rum, and then 151 on top. Uh, now, is there any amaretto in there? No. Is there dark rum in there? Yes. So the dark rum is, the, is that is that yeah. heavy. So they what they do taste. is they just the bottom, they just pour a little bit of lemon juice with the like, I think it's got orange curacao mixed in with the lemon juice, mm. but and then that's it, and then the rest is rum, rum, and rum. So it's like you only do this bottom half before you even put ice, and you just do the lemon juice, the fresh lemon, with the orange curacao, and then you do your shot of dark rum, your shot of light rum, and your shot of gold rum. And this is and off then, the menu too. Not off that you don't. People don't know it exists. Well, it's I love it. It's like yeah. So in other words, purists. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They've they've got to watch our show to get this. Yes. <laughs> you guys are awesome. When you go to the tiki bar, ask for the classic Mai Tai. That is not on the menu. This was clearly one of the best drinks of our entire Hawaiian tour. It had more of that rum taste rather than just a ton of fruit juices. It was clearly a drinking person's drink. Next, we hit the Hyatt Regency Maui Resort and Spa. We loved this place for a number of reasons. Well, sure, they had penguins in the lobby. Who doesn't like penguins? And you can get up close with some great shots. And the Hyatt has some great rooms with spectacular views. The Hyatt also has a Marilyn Monroe Spa. And the Hyatt also has Japango. This is an Asian Pacific Rim restaurant that has won numerous awards. We indulged ourselves here. First, we had a Korean seafood pancake. It was loaded with lobster, kimchi, crab, shrimp, kochujang aioli, and sesame soy sauce. Now, we are big sushi fans, but this almost stole the night as far as tastes go. Next, we were blown away by the Kung Pao duck meatballs with macadamia nuts, garlic, ginger, and chili peppers. This mixture was close to something we hadn't ever tasted before. Another great reason to love Hyatt is the wine. They have their own Chardonnay that you can't get anywhere else. It's called Canvas, and it was superb with what we had and with what's coming up next, Japango's award-winning sushi. Look at this platter. So you do the honor since you are the sushi expert and I am just the sushi snob. So go for it. Okay, well, at the top of the platter is the rising sun roll with spicy salmon, avocado, and cucumber inside. And then outside, salmon and shredded shiso and daikon wafu dressing. Next to it is the rainbow roll with crab on the inside, maguro, ibi, and hamachi kanpachi. We also had the salmon, yellowtail, and the fatty tuna, known as the Hawaiian Big Eye Tuna. Is it just me, or is it sushi is much better when it's on Hawaii? Well, depending on where we are comparing. If it's the mainland, for me, Hawaii just feels even fresher, and it's nice to try the other varieties of fish available there. Now, another good reason to stay at the Hyatt are the golf deals. That's right. There are two great courses worth playing nearby, the Ka'anapali Kai and the Royal Ka'anapali. These are great courses with great views. Now you will also want to play Kapalua Plantation Course, where the PGA's Tournament of Champions is played in January every year. Now after golf, you will want to hit Front Street in Lahaina. At first, you definitely want to hit Bubba Gump's Shrimp Bar, where the drinks are like a box of chocolates, many to choose from. That's right. And we tried these two. The Patron Top Shelf Margarita and the Metal Margarita with an orange taste. But be careful with the shakers. Make sure you see the bubble gum. Hold both lids good and tight and pour it or you will wear it. They are much better for drinking, I promise. 
Next, we hit chemos for dinner and some entertainment. We had macadamia nut crusted mahi mahi, and again, when in Hawaii, eat fish. This was spectacular. The macadamia nuts made a tasty crust to the moist fish. And the prime rib, ah, it was done perfectly. Now there is Lyft and Uber on Maui, so feel free to use when you have to walk a longer distance. And of course, we'll have more from Maui and Hawaii on other shows, and uh, we actually spent a lot of time here for you guys. Oh.